Thank you. Thanks a lot. Now, as it's Blue Monday, supposedly the most depressing day of the year, we've decided to try and cheer you up with a chat with 80s comedy great Bobby Ball. Yeah, he's still a great favourite with so many of us. And of course, he was one half of Cannon and Ball. The good news is, almost 60 years after they first got together, they're going on tour for an audience with starting next month. Our entertainment correspondent Caroline Whitmore caught up with the bonkers Bobby Ball. Laugh me a laugh. Oh, is that your real name? No, my real name's Flora Margarine, but I don't like, <laughs> but I don't like to spread it around. Bobby Ball, how are you? Are you good? I'm fantastic, and it's great to see you. It You're is, looking it's, good. It's lovely to see you. I mean, genuinely, you have been in this Business Week or show for almost 60 years. Yes, I have, for 60 years. And can I say something? You can see her dress. She looks like a hanging basket, <laughs> but very beautiful. We've got many stories, we look back at me and tell me what we did, because we were welders. Our first TV appearance was Opportunity Knox, and we came last. Bookings cancelled. You did not. I'm telling you, we were rubbish. <laughs> Bernard Manning, he said, you're the only double act with two straight men. <laughs> Do you about that Vincent van Gogh? He cut his ear off, you know, and gave it to his girlfriend. And she said, thank you, he said, you what? The Cannon and Ball Show was on Saturday night, primetime television, yes. for 12 years in yes. front of 20 million people. That's correct. It was wonderful. We've been very, very blessed, me and Tommy. We've been very lucky. I always thought I was a bit of a sex symbol. Um, <laughs> oh, oh it's, that's not a joke? No. <laughs> I thought I were a five foot three sex symbol. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a five foot three. Five foot three and a quarter. I... Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the quarter. Never forget the quarter. Never. <laughs> When it come with the braces and all that, I've still got them on, by the way. Oh, hey, up. I only did that because I had a pair of baggy pants on. Do you know where that came from? David Essex. Because he had a song called Rock On. Rock On. One night he said to Tommy, Rock On, Tommy. And somebody giggled, thought, oh, well, that's good. Oh, so oh. Kept it. One of the highlights of my career was Eric Morecambe said to me, Rock On, Tommy. Hey, Rock On, Tommy, hey. <laughs> Did you have a fallout in the 80s? Yeah, we're in the 80s when we'd been together for years and then he goes took over and we stopped talking. I came to him one night, knocked on his door and I said, hey, I'm going for a drink, are you coming? Ah. Uh... He said, yeah, I am. And we shook hands and we've been friends ever since. We've got over all that now, we don't bother with all that now. So much so that you're doing a tour of the theatres. Yeah. An audience with Cannon and Ball. We're doing an audience with Cannon and Ball, starts in February. Yeah. We're all through the summer. We've had a good career, me and Tom, it's been excellent. Together we'll be walking. It's lovely to you, and can I say, don't care what anybody says, your roots do not want doing. <laughs> Bobby, I think you're a treasure. I think you're a come treasure. Here. Come, so here. You. come, come here. here, come oh. here. Come here, love you Will you do me a rock on Tommy? Yeah. Come on. Rock on Tommy. Yeah, we love him. Bobby Ball. Uh, the weather now, here's Kerry. <laughs> 